in this video i am going to share my strategy for mathematics and i scored 100 in my board examination i'm talking about 12th grade i'll be sharing my strategy how to uh, start with mathematics since you shifted from 11 to 12th and you wanted to know how to score well in your board examination so i'm gonna tell you in this video make sure to see this video till the end and uh, most of you ask me about um, like 11th grade you've not studied well and you've not uh, read the concepts you've not practiced anything so how to cope up with that even i had the same story i didn't study well in class 11th i was engaged in sports activities so i couldn't give time to uh, any subject and i didn't take tuitions i did self-study so it was a bit difficult for me to um, like score well in 11th however i managed it by revising some chapters of mathematics i'm talking about class 11th you'll have to revise the trigonometry part and uh, section b in case you're attempting section b of this um, book and yes you have to revise differentiation as well limits part from class 11th book all right and now in this uh, the first thing you can do is write the marks distribution as i've written this is of 12 marks this is of 14 marks and this is of 40 marks this is of 14 marks again and section b or section c which you can attempt is of 20 marks uh, marks distribution is very important in this case and yes a very important thing is that you have to maintain a formula notebook since the beginning of your preparation i i had this formula notebook in which i've written i did all these uh, formulas of uh, differentiation and then uh, determinants the matrices integration there are a lot of formulas in integration and differentiation which you have to learn all right so maintain a formula notebook then you have to revise all these chapters of class 11 like those basic uh, formulas like sin 2a that is equal to 2 sin a uh, sin b then sin a plus sin b what is the formula all right all these basic formulas of class 11 trigonometry then limits and differentiation make sure to revise these three chapters and you can watch uh, short videos please practice these questions then you can start with 12th differentiation and integration there is this chapter in determinate um, form of limits which uh, is based on l hospital rule you have done it in class 11th in limits and yes relations and functions must be revised again from class 11th so if you'll ask me from which chapter you should start you can start with relations and functions and then move on to binary operations after that you can shift to this calculus part and start with uh, differentiation okay when you end differentiation you can go back to chapter number four that is inverse trigonometric functions and afterwards you can uh, do determinants matrices and uh, continuity and differentiability of functions indeterminate forms of limits all these chapters are very e easy mean uh, value theorems application of derivatives maxima and minima so all these chapters uh, are based on differentiation you need to practice a lot in this chapter number eight so that you can solve all these questions sorry for the background voice i don't know why kids are howling anyways um, then integration again a lot of formulas are there you need to practice it is the reverse form of differentiation all right differential equation again based on all these uh, concepts of integration then probability there is this short short question of base theorem of six marks that you will get every year moving on to section b or section c so i didn't attempt section b because um, as i told you i didn't study well in class 11th so my basics were a little bit weak so i thought to attempt this section c okay so it's all based on formulas you'll just have to learn the formulas so if you ask me how i scored 100 on 100 in mathematics the very first thing is i was consistent and i did not miss any day of my tuition trust me i did not miss any day even if it was raining it was cold i went for my math tuition early morning at 6 a.m so you need to be consistent and you need to practice a lot in mathematics 
practicing is the key second is uh, you'll have to solve pyqs after you end your syllabus and not only this suppose you've ended up with this chapter relations then you can do the back exercises the examples are very important then move on to the previous year question of this particular chapter and that is how you can solve those questions you can practice all right then third is these uh, small tests that uh, that are conducted in school okay your prelim examination and all of this please take it seriously thank you for watching this video and uh, have a good day all the best